In this video, we'll explain how to submit your project for the 2025 NASA Space Apps Challenge. We'll also discuss the judging and awards process. Project submission opens on Saturday, October 4th at 9 a.m. and closes on Sunday, October 5th at 11.59 p.m. according to the time zone of your local event. If your team is registered for the Universal event, project submission closes Sunday, October 5th at 11.59 p.m. in accordance with the local time of your team owner's area of residence. Once you create or join a team, you will be able to edit your team's project submission page. The project submission page is where your team will provide all of the details about your project. This is the page that the judges will review. To edit your team's project page, click the project tab and then click the blue edit button. Note that the project tab will appear only after the hackathon begins. There are a few functions that will help you when editing your team's page. First is the lock button. If you have multiple team members who might be trying to edit your project at the same time, you can toggle the lock button to on. This will let other team members know that you are making changes to the projects tab so they do not try to make edits at the same time. However, be aware that they can still remove the lock and make changes to the project, overriding any changes you had not yet saved. We suggest that you work closely with your team to edit your project and provide the answers to the prompts on the form. Save progress. The save progress button allows you to save your project often so you don't lose your work. You can save your work as many times as you like before submission by clicking the save button. Note that your changes will only be viewable to your team until you click on the Submit for Judging button. Once you are ready to publish the changes you've made, click the Submit button at the top of the page. Your changes will now be viewable to anyone who visits your page. Only your last submission will be reviewed by the judges. You will be required to fill out the following questions when submitting your project. If you aren't ready to submit for judging, use the Save Progress button. When all required fields are filled out, you'll be able to submit for judging. First is your project name. Then provide a summary. This is a high level summary of your project. Some questions to consider when answering this out are, what did you develop? How does it address the challenge? And why is it important? We suggest a 50 to 200 word summary. Next is the links. First is project demonstration. This is a short demo of your project, either as a seven slide presentation or a 30 second or less video. You must upload a link that does not require a password or permission or registration for the judges to view. To be eligible for a global award, your demo must be accessible via a public link. You must also adhere to the seven slide or 30 second limit. Next is the link to your project. Share a publicly accessible link to your final project. This can be a website that you created to showcase your project, a cloud-based hosting service, or a co code repository, or a platform such as YouTube, Google Drive, GitHub, OneDrive, or Dropbox. The link you provide should not require a password permission or registration in order to access your final project. To be eligible for a global award, your project must be accessible via a public link. Next are the project details. Here is where you can provide details about your project. Consider questions such as what does it do or how does it work? What benefits does it have? What is your intended impact with your project? You can include information such as tools, coding languages, hardware, or software used to develop your project, Share how it's creative and other factors that your team considered. Next is the use of artificial intelligence. The use of artificial intelligence or AI tools is permitted for the NASA Space Apps Challenge and can be used as a tool to accelerate innovation and creativity. However, generated content may not use, contain, or modify any NASA branding or design elements such as the NASA logo, flag, or mission identifiers. We also require that you clearly indicate where and how AI tools were used in your project. This includes adding a visible watermark to images or videos indicating that they are AI generated, acknowledging AI generated audio and descriptive text and metadata, acknowledging AI generated code and data in descriptive text and metadata, 
Our judges will consider originality, intent, and execution in the context of AI-assisted work. Please list all of the AI that you used in this text box. If you did not use any AI tools or software, please write NA in the box. NASA data. In order to be eligible for a global award, you must use NASA data or resources. Please list these here by adding the links to the data that you used. Space Agency Partner and Other Data. In addition to NASA data, please list all other data, resources, or tools used in your project from Space Agency Partners or other sources. Please note that this section is optional. These resources could include any code, text, or images. Please ensure that all links are publicly accessible. Once you're ready to submit your project, you'll want to agree to the terms and conditions and confirm all of your work is original. Then select Submit for Judging. If you have not completed all of the required sections, you will not be allowed to proceed. However, if all fields required fields are filled out, you will see a successful message saying Project Submitted for Judging at the top of the page. You must click the Submit for Judging button prior to 11.59 p.m. local time of your local event. Any projects saved or submitted past this deadline will not be eligible for judging. No edit request or exceptions past this deadline will be allowed. Once your team has submitted your project, you will be eligible to receive a 2025 NASA Space Apps Challenge Participant Certificate. Certificates will automatically become available for download on your user profile once your project is submitted. To access your certificate, go to your account profile on the menu under your avatar. Scroll down to the participant information section and look for 2025 NASA Space Apps Challenge. Click on the yellow Download Participant Certificate button to download. When downloading your certificate or saving as a PDF, ensure that the paper size selected is letter 8.5 by 11 inches or 215 by 297 millimeters. Please note that the only downloadable format is a PDF version. We cannot accommodate other versions. We suggest downloading your participant certificate from a laptop or desktop rather than a mobile device to ensure the formatting is correct. If you experience technical issues while downloading your participant certificate, please email web at spaceappschallenge.org and include your username and team name. Please note that your name will appear on the certificate based on what you have listed under the full name in your profile. If you would like to modify your name, you can do this by clicking the change button next to full name in the account information section. You can change this at any time, even after submitting a project, and then re-download your certificate. In inputting your name, please adhere to the NASA Space Apps values. After you submit your project by the deadline, your team's project will move on to judging. In order for your team to be eligible for judging, your project must respond to one of the challenges for this year. Please note, projects submitted to create your own challenge will not be eligible for global judging. Please ensure that all team members are registered for the NASA Space Apps Challenge, have registered for a local event, and are not waitlisted, and appear on the Members tab of your Teams page. Teams will not be able to add new members after project submission has closed. The maximum number of team members allowed is six and the minimum is one. Please note that all teammates, including the team owner, must be registered for the same local event. Teams that do not meet this requirement are not eligible for global judging. Your team must complete all of the required fields on the project submission page and submit your project by the deadline. This includes using at least one NASA resource in your project and you must use English language on the project submission page and in any linked materials. There is an exception. If your team chooses to create a video for the project demo, you can speak in another language. However, you must include English language subtitles. The deadline for project submission is Sunday, October 5th at 11.59 p.m. according to the time zone of your local event. If you are a member of the Universal event, 
Your deadline is October 5th at 11.59 p.m. in accordance with the local time of your team owner's area of residence. At every level of judging, from local and universal events to executive judging, your project will be evaluated on a scale of 1 to 5 in each of the following criteria. Impact, creativity, validity, relevance, and presentation. Details about each of these criteria are available in the Judging and Awards Participant Guide. NASA Space Apps Judging occurs in three phases local event and universal event judging, global judging, and executive judging. Phase one is local event judging to determine the global nominees. Following the hackathon, all projects submitted will be evaluated by a panel of local judges at each local event. They will evaluate the project submitted and determine which teams will advance to become global nominees. For the universal event, projects submitted will be evaluated by a team of subject matter experts. The universal event judges will select projects to advance to global judging. The number of universal event teams that will advance to global judging will be proportional to the number of projects that advance to global judging from local events. These teams will be known as global nominees. Global nominees will be announced on November 5th. Local leads and local judges have the option to provide local awards. These awards are separate from the global judging process and do not automatically qualify a team as a global nominee, global finalist, honorable mention, or global winner. Phase two determines global finalists and honorable mentions. During global judging, all global nominees will be reviewed by a team of expert judges. The top teams will move on to executive judging and will be known as the global finalists. We also recognize honorable mentions at this time. While not advancing to executive judging or eligible for awards, honorable mentions were ranked highly by our global judges for their ingenuity and creativity. Global finalists and honorable mentions will be announced on November 26. Phase three is when we determine the global winners. During global judging, the global finalists will be reviewed by an executive committee from NASA and space agency partners. These judges are agency leaders and executives with a variety of subject matter expertise. This committee will nominate teams for one of 10 global awards. The winning teams are awarded one of our 10 global awards and known as the global winners. The global awards are best use of science, best use of data, best use of technology, galactic impact, best mission concept, most inspirational, best storytelling, global connection, art and technology, and local impact. Global winners will be announced on December 18th. While awards are an exciting and compelling reason to participate in the NASA Space Apps Challenge, NASA Space Apps is, at its core, a collaborative event, not a competitive one. We hope that participants have the opportunity to learn, grow, and share. We celebrate all of your ideas and efforts, whether you receive an award or not. For further information on project submission and judging and awards, please refer to our participant guides on the resources page. Good luck on submitting a project. Don't forget to follow us on X, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest updates and to connect with the global NASA Space Apps community.